So in this video, I'm going to talk about what Nikon lens that you should get for your camera, specifically for videography. So when it comes to buying things like lenses for your camera, you people often get overwhelmed. And especially in my comment section, people are like, should I buy this lens or this lens for my Nikon camera? Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about exactly which lens is perfect for you. Is it maybe the 35 1.8 millimeter prime lens? Or is it actually the kit lens that you can almost film anything and everything with, with vibration reduction and autofocus and manual settings? So I know when it comes to buying your very first entry level DSLR, specifically Nikon, but this also applies for any other camera, is that you over get overwhelmed. You're thinking, what lens do I buy for my camera? And I always constantly get, is this lens better than this lens? Or is this lens better than this lens? How about this one? There are certain principles and foundations that you need to know when it comes to buying your very first Nikon lens. And I'm gonna talk about it. The very first one that you need to consider before even touching your first lens is who or what are you filming? Are you specifically focused on video? Then you might need something with vibration reduction lens. Or are you focused on something like very fast lens, but there isn't things like IS or optical stabilization, but you're using a tripod. These are things you need to consider. So I like to break it down and ask you, do you like to film landscapes? Do you like to do portrait photos or video style? Or are you an aspiring vlogger or you want to do things that's mostly handheld and gorilla? you telling me those three things, then you'll be able to figure out, okay, you're gonna exclude this type of lens, this type of lens, and this type of lens. So for example, if you primarily wanna shoot or film things like video and do things like landscapes, then you're gonna want a lens that has a zoom range. So for example, anywhere from like a 50 to a 200 millimeter zoom lens, or you want something even of a higher caliber zoom, such as like a 70 to 300 zoom lens. And this is things for wildlife, for landscapes, for night lines. And that is the lens that you want to get. Because when I first started and getting into Nikon cameras and video is that I thought that I needed every single zoom range lens. But the reality is I only stuck to these three lenses that you're seeing right now because I figured out, okay, this is the exact thing that I'm filming and using it for. If you're going for more portraits and you want that tight fit, whether that's film or video, then I would recommend the Nikon 35 millimeter, 1.5 millimeter lens. And it's a very fast and affordable lens. And I primarily use this lens for very my very first professional shoot, which I used in an interview style. And it's a very good focal length for things like getting that really shallow depth of field. And you can get away with, believe it or not, I used the entire video just using this one lens. And it's very, I would say a very nice crop. And overall, fast lens, I think everyone should have one of these within their arsenal. So if you shy away from landscape filming or shooting and you want to do more portrait style, I would usually recommend the 35 millimeter or the 50 millimeter 1.8G within the Nikon Nikkor series. But I do not recommend this for vlogging because the crop factor on this is way too much. Let's say you picked up the Nikon camera and you're more along the lines of a vlogger or you want to do a very intimate like a testimonial type of video where you're sitting in front of a camera then you don't want something along the lines of a 70 to 300 millimeter range which is made mostly for landscapes N let alone you don't want something that's 35 millimeters that's way too close in your face if the camera is literally handheld so you would want something within a focal length of 18 anywhere from 10 to 18 millimeters and when you pick up your Nikon lens, this is, chances are this will be your very first lens that you ever get. And yes, it is the Nikon kit 18 to 55, 3.5 to 5.6 variable varying aperture lens. And this lens I actually still use to this day. And you would be surprised what you can actually do with this lens. It has awesome things like vibration reduction, which is great for run and gun. And 
There are downsides of things like having its variable aperture range. In other words, if you zoom in, you lose stops of light. But for the mount that you're getting this, especially if you buy it with the kit and body combo, this lens is only around $100 and you can, it is the great, a great place to start for your vlogging needs. If you have a little bit more money to splurge and you're a vlogger or you're talking head type of videos where you're doing professional business or you're pretty much where you're literally an arm's length away from your subject or talent, then I would also recommend what I use is my upgraded lens from the kit lens what I'm using right now to film this is the Sigma 17 to 50 2.8 aperture lens and this lens is a very constant it's a constant aperture lens when you zoom. In other words, if you if I'm at 2.8 aperture at 17 and I zoom it out to 50, I'm still at 2.8 and I would recommend this not necessarily as like a vlogging lens cuz this is very heavy glass. I would recommend this if you have a home studio fast aperture and you're roughly the same distance. I don't recommend this lens for vlogging because it is very heavy, especially if you have a Nikon camera with this, but I would recommend this lens if you want a little upgrade from your kit lens. If you do like home YouTube style videos or you're pretty much doing any type of testimony video videos because yes, it does go up to 50 millimeters, which you can get nice shallow depth of field as well as a tighter frame for anything like interview videos. I've used this for interview videos. I've used this for close-up shots of food videos for companies. And I've also used this for my own YouTube videos. This is currently my YouTube video lens that I use to film, I would say 90% of my videos that you see on this channel. It's this Sigma 17 to 50. So when it comes to what's the best lens that I can get, for my Nikon camera or any entry level DSLR camera is that it really depends on you. Like I can recommend you lenses that I use, that I like, that I think you should use, but the thing is I am not you. I know that doesn't make sense, but what I'm trying to say is that you need to figure out what you're filming in the first place. Cause the biggest mistake that I did was I got into video and then I realized that I spent all this money on lenses that I didn't really need because it was completely out of my focal length and things that I was going to film. For example, I spent money on a 70 to 300 millimeter lens even though I didn't even film wildlife or landscape videography but I thought like I needed it. Truth is you don't need to spend money on every single lens. First you need to determine what it is that you're filming. If you're filming mostly like headshots, portraits, interview style videos, then you can pick something along the lines of a prime lens. In other words, it doesn't zoom fast. I recommend the 35 1.8 millimeter lens. If you want something more like a run and gun and you want a zoom range, then I would recommend the kit lens because one, it has vibration reduction, it is light, and it is a good focal length that a lot of people almost similar to the human eye is the 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens because you can zoom in, you can get a tighter frame and it's your first taste to figure out what kind of focal length that you want for your videos. And lastly and surely is that the lens that I'm using right now is the 17 to 50, which I currently use, which I recommend if you want to do talking head videos or any type of videos where there isn't, you don't always have the best lighting and you want a fast lens. This is something that's budget friendly. So when it comes to buying your very first lens on top of your kit lens, you need to figure out what it is you're filming and then narrow it down from there. And that's my video on camera lenses my camera lens explained for Nikon camera videos on what is the best lens. Cause I don't know what's the best lens for you because I don't know you, but if there's certain things that you can categorize that into, let's say I'm going to be doing mostly interview videos mixed in with a lot of B-roll. So in my head, I'm like, okay, that's, let's say an 18 to 50 millimeter focal length. I'm not gonna have a lot of light, so I want a fast lens. And then I might want a tighter lens, which is like a 50 
millimeter 1.8 for those interview or talking portions videos. So that is my video on camera lenses and what's the best Nikon lens. It really depends on you and your budget and a bunch of other varying factors. And these are my recommendations. My name is Peter. You're watching Broke Visionary Collective. We all start with nothing, but you can always create something.